Welcome to <clears throat> Will and Steve's Outdoors. I'm a little sick today, so my voice isn't going to be working very well. But I'm just going to show you my trebuchet. Now, trebuchets were medieval siege weapon that were used um, during medieval times to fire projectiles at like long range, and they can they're more accurate than most other catapults. So it consists of some different parts. You have your base, which will hold it down. You have your two like I don't know what these are called actually. And then you have your arm. And then you have your sling. And you have your counterweight. And you put your projectile inside your sling. So I'm just going to be firing my trebuchet downrange. So the way it works is you put your projectile. I'm just going to be using a rock. You can put multiple projectiles. I don't know where my best projectile is. Um, but you, you hook this up, put this, this is two strings, it's around this notch right here. <coughs> so what you want to do, reposition the camera. I guess. So you want to put this sling inside this knock up here. Projectile inside there. And then Have it in there, put it up, I'll twist it around, pull it back, and here I have a trigger. So you want to put it in here, I have these two little loops, slip it in there, then just wait. And this is going to drop down, therefore releasing the spring. Fire. And there you go. I'll put it on a different angle now. All right, so everyone prepare to be amazed. I'll also have one more angle of shooting these, but here I go. So I've got some different things. I've got some rocks. Put that in there. Fire back. And firing. Next projectile. Basically what's happening is this weight, this counterweight right here, is forcing this arm down, therefore releasing releasing this sling. So it's going like this, and then once it gets at a certain angle, it's slipping out of the knot and firing out. So, different one. This one's a little heavier and bigger. So with different weights, projectile work differently with different weights of counterweight. I actually have this from a science project that I did in fifth grade that was comparing different weights and different size projectiles, firing and seeing how different and what the best is. So projectile number two, firing. Well, that one, see, that was heavier, so that went higher, but not as far as the other one. So one more projectile, and then I'll switch the angle. In there. And back. Ready! Fire! Not that time, just landing in the bushes. Alright, so this time I'm not gonna, I'm gonna basically be showing you where it's firing. You don't really see me doing anything. But I'm gonna try out a lemon this time, a green lemon. Check down number one. Five, five, no, three, two, one, fire. That was that big one that was fat. Different stones, smaller this time. Oops, 
so I'll twist it around. And I don't know if this is gonna shoot properly. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! That was nice. Yeah, that was nice. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> and now I'm gonna put in some some dirt clumps, which should explode on impact. Putting that in there. Three, two, one, fire! That thing exploded inside the pouch. Strangely. All right, I'm gonna do secondary clump. Hopefully this won't explode inside of the pouch this time before releasing. And fire! I see where that one went. That one behind the fountain. All right, and trying the green lemon. Dun, dun, dun. Putting it in. Pulling back. And three, two, one, firing. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Alright. Well, here's my trebuchet. Let's give you a closer look at it. One final thing, just my trebuchet. Closer look. Here's your sling that is put onto the knock up here. And therefore, pulling it back. So you're gonna put it on to this. And then what you do is you pull it back. And then we do is you release it and then it slings up therefore letting go of the sling and firing the projectile downrange so I'm just gonna walk out and find one of my projectiles well there's one of them ha. all right I'm not gonna move that I'm gonna walk back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12. 12 steps that way. That's pretty good for that little thing. Anyway, thanks for watching.